see a nurse here. Yeah, come. You see, like yourself, you, you want to move forward. You are moving forward. By now, you were supposed to be far by now. It's huh? true. It's true. Huh? It's but true. it's like you are turning one place. Isn't it? It's true. Uh, it's like you are turning one place. There's different kind of thoughts that are entering you. Uh, sometimes you say, hey, if I study, it will be better. It's true. Huh? It's true. You just say, if I study, it will be better. It's better if I study, maybe I become a doctor. It's true. Because where I am now, I'm not doing anything. It's true. So God wants to fight for you. It's true. You hear me? Amen. Just receive the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. They say, My name is Tangwani Paswana. I come here in Tembisa. The prophecy that Daddy said is very true and correct because I've been longing to further my studies to become a doctor. He once prophesied to me a long time ago that although I'm a nurse, but he see me as a doctor. He spoke about confusion that really comes to you. When every time this thought would come, how would you feel? Eventually, maybe you would even be lazy to go to work because of you are looking forward to studying and being a doctor. What would really happen to you? Yes, the confusion is that at the current uh, job occupancy that I'm working, I'm not happy because that was not my dream at first. My, my dream was to become a doctor. So sometimes I feel like, why am I working? Why can't I just sit down and do something else? Yes. And how are you feeling now as the man of God has spoken unto you? I feel like that I'm going to take an application for me and I'm blind, then I know I'm going to go back to medical school. Amen. And are you happy? I'm very excited. Well, see, Professor, what my dream is. Amen. A business issue, I my brother. This I There's a business issue. By now, you were supposed to be far now. Huh? But it's like you are turning one place. Turning one. So that you die in the desert. There's nothing that to ride home about. Because when I look at you, as, I mean, some people think you, are, you have got money. But here, there's nothing here. I want to touch you. You will make it in Egypt. Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. I mean, there's many people here. My name is Patrick Mkwea. Um, I live in Blue Valley, uh, Gulf Estate. Um, I'm a businessman. And um, things have not been working out completely, completely. Things just went dry, dry, dry. Now, when the man of God picked me, um, what he said to me was true and also i then immediately then received a breakthrough uh, into what i want to do so i can confirm that yes um, 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 the the prophecy itself is true and the only thing that the man of god when he called you was i'm seeing business in you how did you feel at that moment while knowing that nothing is really working out for you to me, it was like a lightning. It, 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 it was like, uh, um, um, you know, God just stunned me. I, I don't have a better word, but I was so stunned that um, whereas we are so many here, uh, God can pick you up and tell you exactly what is relevant to your situation and how to pull you out of that situation. So for me, it was, I was choked. Even now, I'm sorry that I was sobering. Um, because of what God is doing in this house. After you had everything, and I believe that, I believe God has really touched the matter that was really bothering you because, as you said, you are a businessman, meaning there's nothing that you know rather than business. And God has went straight to the point. How are you feeling about that right now? You know, in fact, there's a scripture that says, um, when you ask bread to God, he does not give you a brick. He gives you bread exactly what you need so for me everything that i receive today it's tailor-made for me it's made for me and it's complete so i'm happy now that uh, from now going forward all the doors relating to business are opened we give glory to Jesus for your life and we believe that you shall surely come back with a testimony telling us that what the man of God has declared in your life, the fruits have came to pass in Jesus' name. Certainly. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. When I look around here, I don't know if I, I'll be like, can you just come? Is a nurse? Yeah? You're a nurse also. Yes. 
So I can't see anything around you. Yes, it's true. Eh? It's true. And sometimes you ask yourself, what are you going to do the, to, at work there? Yes. Eh? Yes, then. It's like a wasting time. Yes. Touch your stomach. I command this thing to leave you in the name of Jesus. Come on. You are, you are possessed with a demon. So can you see? These are the people that I'm talking about. My name is Thelma Baladi. I come from Mandela. Yeah, I'm, I'm a member of Charis Missionary Church. The prophecy that I got to today is true. Because always when I go to work, I'm working over time, but I'm not okay there. I have nothing, everything that they said is true. I'm not permanent, and it's been a long time now, but I see there's something wrong in my stomach, but I don't know that I was attacked. But I believe that today I got breakthrough. In all these things that you were coming across in your life, feeling pains in your stomach, everything, how did they affect you? They affect me a lot because always I was having pain in the head, in the stomach, even, even the chest. I'm not okay in my body, all over my body. I'm having pains and I, I don't know what I'm going through. But I saw that because it's attacked. Uh, people, I know that there's someone, enemy, that are attacking me because they doesn't want me to work. So today I really thank God and believe that I am free forever. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine now, no pain. <laughs> and this other brother here, and another one here. There's someone here, I'm hearing someone. Can you just come back? It's you, come. Where's your wife? I, I think if I pray with your wife, you people, you will succeed. Because this thing that I'm talking about, of turning one place, is also happening to you. It's true. Uh, you are working, but you don't know what is happening. Let me try to... Let me bless you, bring him. Come on. You are blessed. Congratulations. And, uh, can you just come, sister? This one? And then. They say dream you have dreamed. Eh? I want to tell you the dream that you have dreamed. You dreamed a very big snake a long time ago. And that snake has entered you. You are a snake. Yes. Eh? Yes. Now you are a snake now. When I look at you, I see a snake on you. Come on, you snake. You're, you're a snake. You're a snake. Leave her, don't touch her hands. So this can lead to witchcraft. This can lead to witchcraft. Can you just come here? This prayer you are praying, sister. I'm Mapula, I'm from Ivory Park. The prophecy that men of God said to me, it was true. I always dream snake every time. I don't know why. But today I'm so happy because he prophesied me about it. Yes. How is it affecting you? It, uh, it was affected me a lot. I couldn't even pray. Sometimes I would just think about it. When I, I, start, I start to think about it, I will just stop praying. And let's talk about your dreams of you dreaming snake. What would really happen in the dream? I will just see a big snake coming to me. I don't know. I can't even hold the hand. You know, when I fell and she, big snake, a hole, it's a moon. So I can't even touch up. Get a rappel, I wear it. Get a rappel, I can pull a lot of rappel. My hands are shaking. I'm going to do my ability. I'm going to do my job. 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 But you are discouraged. You are disappointed. Someone disappointed you uh, in the last minute. So can you just gather yourself again? Uh, God will lift you. Will lift the standard. Marriage will come. Are you hearing me? Can you just put him? Can you just come, my boy? Yeah. Okay. My name is Sharon Mabasa. Um, the prophecy I received today is true. I've been very discouraged. 
like I got I recently got married but things are not exactly the way I expect, I expect them to be in my marriage yeah and how did it affect you but before you can tell us how it affected you what are the things that you were trying to do but they were not working I've been praying I've been fasting for my marriage but things are not working the way I want them to elaborate you're still speaking in parables we fight a lot and he doesn't even listen to me most of the time yeah even when I try to pray like it, it doesn't work out at all how is it affecting you? it affects me a lot more especially in my spiritual life sometimes I can't even pray I don't know what to say yeah and how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you? I feel relieved. I believe things will go well from now on. I believe so. Amen. Yes, this one. So don't be discouraged by what happened in the past. Yes, Daddy. You, you hear me? Sometimes you encourage yourself. Sometimes you are discouraged. Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. Sometimes you encourage you begin to pray too much. Yes, Daddy. Sometimes you fall down. Yeah, it happens quite a lot. Let me, let, let me anoint you. Can you just come, brother? You have tried business, isn't it? But it's not working. Yes. Huh? Yes. Even now, you, you don't know what to do. Yes. Is it true what I'm saying? It's true. Come on, you demon. Come on. There's a demon. Can you just go to him? Come on. Come on. Where is your friend? The, the one who's drinking. Uh, he's at home. He's at home? Yes. So, God saved you. You, you need to follow God. Eh? You hear me? Yeah. yeah. Friends who are drinking, doing this, is not part of you. If you can look at your life, it is in one place. Yes. Because you are associated with the wrong people. Yes. You understand? Yes. You are free. Come, come, brother. Yeah, it's true because he was warning me about the friends, the wrong friends, so that I must go away from the wrong friend because it's affecting me. I, uh, I can't pray properly like before. Yes, and it was true. Are you, are, you, are you having those friends? What kind of friends are around you? Yeah, they are drinking. No, they, they don't come to visit me. At, at home, at home, they, like, like at December time, they used to come and visit me, yes. So every time when they come, as you said, that they, 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 they disturb your spiritual life, what would they normally come to do? Sometimes some of them, they, call, they, they, they just come with the bottle of the beers, they, yes. yes. And then like you see, like as your friend, and as a visitor, you can't chase him away, yes. Yes, so he just warned me about that. Yeah. And were you aware that it's them affecting your spiritual life? No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling alright, and after that, then he delivered me. Yes. Stop there. Hold it. Look here. All this problem you went through. Eh? Yes. You, you disappointed someone. Yes. Eh? Yes. Uh, the person loved you so much. Yes. Eh? Yes. Now yourself, you just end up going to a, another person who yes. never even marry you. Yes. Eh? Yes. Now look what happened to you now. Even now you are lonely. Yes. Come on. You are free. Uh, I'm evidence, Maria. I come from Tembisa. The prophecy that I got today is I disappointed someone, so the problems I'm going through is because of that I disappointed someone a long time ago. How did it affect you? Uh, because I've got some sicknesses that I can't even simple talk about it. Sometimes I feel things piercing, moving objects inside my body. Sometimes I just feel pains in my body. Did you go to the doctor? Yes. What did the doctor say? 
Uh, first, I checked for pap smear. Then I went for the result. They said I'm fine. Everything is fine, but I didn't get the results of what's going on inside my body. Amen. How are you feeling right now? Is the man of God has prayed for you? I feel delivered, and all the pains are gone. <laughs> Brother, there's this discouragement that has entered you. Yes. It's like you are you are entertaining discouragement. Huh? Yes, sir. Sometimes it confuses you. You don't know whether you're supposed to do God's work or what, or you're supposed to wait. You don't know now, because I'm just hearing my brother praying. Pray, God, visit me. Yes. Eh? Visit me. Yes, Daddy. We, Is it true? We need direction, Daddy. Eh? We need direction. You pray the Lord. Yes, we need to be directed. Mm. Sometimes when we pray, we put things like this. This is my road. And if God is not doing this, and he wants us to reach here, we don't know because our focus is here. It's like here. Eh? You pray. You say, <laughs> I want to use N1. Go say, eh, eh. use N4 first. And they say, no, 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 N1, N1. Go say, eh, eh. use N4 first. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Many of you, your problem is submission. If you can help them to say, let me see that, ah, God will open your eyes. You don't even pray for your ministry, you pray for other people's ministry. Yes, That's how God will work. So most of the time you'll be praying, my ministry, my ministry, my ministry. My own, go, open my eyes. Open. God say, if I open his eyes, many people will die here. So he has to teach you some things. Yes, dear. You enter college of God. You are anointed. You are anointed. You will make it. My name is Stephen Paladi, and the lady next to me is Nongululeko Paladi. She's my wife. We are from Rustenburg, and it is true that we have been, um, you know, the man of God has pointed out the fact that uh, we are, you know, we have an issue with submission. Yeah, because we are far from this home, we have been looking for a good place to submit, but we have been constantly disappointed by the spiritual condition of the house. And so we do find ourselves right now um, in need, uh, you know, um, like in between, in between, because we would gladly submit here if we were closer to this home. But because we are out in, in a bit of a remote area, we do find ourselves, um, you know, stranded, spiritually speaking. Yes. Yeah. And the man of God also spoke about your condition of being confused whether to start a ministry or what was really happening? Um, because of not finding um, a, a, a very suitable place to submit and we having our, a calling ourselves, yeah. uh, you know, without being boastful or arrogant, we thought perhaps that would be an indication that we started to, we needed to start looking at ministry ourselves. But we understand from what Dad is saying that God will direct us concerning that as well because the timing has to be right. And we also did not want to start a ministry prematurely. Yes. And how are you feeling as the man of God has given you guidance? And I believe that through you, God has spoken to many servants of God. I believe that today God has used you as a vessel to other men of God and servants of God out there. How are you feeling that God has located your situation and also He has given you direction in Jesus' name? It is always a very great honor to be located by the servant of God through the Holy Spirit. And once again, I believe that this message is for all of us uh, younger ministers who feel the urge and the fire to start a ministry and yet the, you know, the, the foundation has to be right. So I believe that what Daddy spoke to us, he spoke to all of us that we need to wait until God 
God himself sets, the, sets it in motion. So don't be discouraged, like Dad was speaking about the spirit of discouragement. Don't be discouraged, don't be anxious, because in that anxiety, the enemy can show you things that don't even exist. But when you, when you have a, a father like Apostle Makananisa to speak into your life and to direct you, you know, God will certainly you know, um, make your ministry sure. And I believe that it is by the grace of God that one day when you stand before God, you say, I was delivering people with your name, and God will say, definitely, I know you. You got that grace because the man of God was able to locate you before you started your ministry prematurely. How are you feeling about that? We are, we are very grateful. Um, you know, because of having been around ministry um, most of our lives, we are both um, children of pastors. My father is a pastor and my wife's uh, dad was also a pastor. So we have seen ministries crumble. It's not something that we, know, we rejoice over, but we have seen a lot of ministries started prematurely and we've seen them go down. So we believe that you know, when God has a mentor and a father to speak to you and to direct you, you must truly be grateful. It is a great, it's a great gift from God and we embrace it fully with our heart. We give glory to Jesus for your life and we believe that as you're taking the words of Apostle, taking them to be your foundation, I believe that God will do greater things with your life more than your fathers did in Jesus' name. Amen. We receive it and we believe it in Jesus' name. Thank you. I see hatred. That's true, man of God. Uh, I'm seeing hatred, people hating you for what you don't know. Yes. Uh, where's your husband? He said to work. Uh, he said to work. You don't know what to do now. Yes. Because you are just hated. Where, even the family members. Yes, that's said, true. Yeah, I hate you, but you are trying. This thing must push you to prayer. Okay, man of God. You course. understand? Okay. When I'm speaking with you, I'm hearing my neck. You start to have a problem with the neck. Yes. Uh? Yes. And uh, this thing is like something is pissing your neck. Yes, that's Sometimes true. Sometimes it's like you can't. Do like That's true. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's an attack. Come on. You demon. Bring it. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. There's a demon in it. You demon. You demon. Come on. Leave it. The name of Jesus. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it, you people. So you are free. My name is El Singobeni. I stay at Ivor Extension 15. What the man of God prophesied upon my life is true. Because everyone hates me, including my siblings, my brothers, my sisters. They hate me for no reason. And the pain, concerning the pain that the man of God said it attacked me here is true. That pain attacked me a few months ago. It's true. Everything is affecting me because I, I started to hate them. I hate them so much. I started to, to be filled with hate. I hate them. I can't even have a relationship with them. We can't even sit for maybe for an hour or two hours together. I've tried, but I, 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 I've, I've just gave up on them. The pain, it was there. Even when we were worshipping, I felt it. But after the man of God touched me, now it's, more, it's no more. The pain is no more. I feel so happy because I know there will be solution. I believe there will be solution to that problem. I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling okay. Yes, I feel I I I, I feel light. I feel so light. Can you just come here, you sister? Where are you staying now? Tim. Mm. Extension 8. Where were you staying? Extension 8. And where were you staying before? Malam Lele. Yeah, your life is really mixed up. Excellent. And uh, I need to pray for you because your life is mixed up. You don't know. It is true. You don't know what to do. If someone can give you money, you can do whatever because yes. of the suffering you are going through. It is true. Uh, I need to pray for you. I don't want to embarrass you. I believe God will change your life today. In, in front of your enemies, those who wish you to suffer until you die, they will see your life rising. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come.
Come on. You are free. You are free. You are free. Hey, the life of this lady. The, the life that she's, she faced this woman under wrong people. Under wrong people who lie too much to you and makes you also a liar too. It is true. You end up being a liar. Can you just come here? Come. My name is Mavis Menyuku Noma Akamalam Lele. Professor Ublavla Sohana Agu Tom Zamina Slanga Slanga Nanini. In Quasles as Ubla Sohana. Karuman Kunkota Kwan Savana Vamina Nofan in Hemba. And he said that you have been in wrong people's hands, meaning you have been in a relationship with wrong people. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Oh, what was I'm happening? Fine. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying. Naza, Makaruma, Nukumagon, Kumaban, Lavangari, Kunanti, so. And how are you feeling right now? Now I'm feeling released. Amen. 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 I'm seeing someone sewing something. I'm still sewing issue. Who's sewing? My mother. Is your mother? Yes. Where is she? In Malamlen. In Malamlen. We yes. need to pray for her. Thank eh? you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, there's, there's a pain that is hitting a spinal cord. Yes. Eh? It's she true. told you. Yes. Uh, it's like you are here for the whole family. Yes. Because you have been worrying about the whole family. Everything As you are here, is a mess. Eh? Everything is a mess. Uh, Everybody here is suffering. Yes. And now the family also is divided. You are starting to point each other. So, as I'm touching you here, your mom, she's healed. Just. Can you just come? I'm Lucy Chabalala from Malamlele. Uh, the prophecy that was given to me is true. Why are you saying it's true? It's true because in my family there's a lot of division, like we are fighting, not talking to each other, and my mom is suffering from some pains, as the man of God said. How did it affect you? And failure everywhere, nightmares, bad dreams, yeah, nobody is, is prospering. How are you feeling as the man of God has spoken unto you? I'm very much happy and I thank Jesus was for locating me. Be careful of your phone. You hear me? Yeah, yeah because I'm seeing you holding a phone. But the way you are using a phone is bringing a spirit of lust from you. You hear me? Come on. The demon of lust. Ouch! Let's just come. I'm, I'm, I'm Juliet Baloi, I'm coming from Tanin. The prophecy was right, was correct, because I'm always on the phone. Why are you saying it's right and correct? Refer it back to your life. Because I'm always using my phone. Always, I'm always on my phone. And what did the man of God say? Is How is it affecting you? It's going to affect me. In a, I'm going to have this thing last. And is it true? Me, I have too much boyfriend. I don't know because I'm always chatting, chatting. You don't know, like refer it. Tell us the things that are happening because of this phone. You are aware that it's bringing spirit of lust to you. So, what are the things that you were doing that would prove that indeed you are having a spirit of lust? Because I'm chatting with too much, too much boyfriend, too much guys in the film. Yeah. And how would that affect you? Because I believe one way or the other they would affect you. How is it affecting you? Yeah, it's going to affect me because at the end of the day, I'm all, I, will, I will be with them. How are you feeling right now? I'm happy for now because I, I didn't know that this thing is going to affect me, but now I'm, I'm going to stop. Where is your brother? Come, to, come together, all of you. God wants to change your life, you people. Yeah. Who was having cows? Who was having cows in your family? Uh, our grandfather. Your grandfather? Yeah. But you people, you have got nothing now. Yeah. He eh? True. yeah. Because he was very rich. True. So you people, I want to pray for you. 
that the riches of generation will come back. You're blessed. Come. Uh, I'm Nechire Masipo Mapatchezo. I'm from Limpopo. And then here I'm with my two brothers, my big brother and then my younger brother. My big brother is Kuriso Samuel and then my younger brother is Ruben. Conf confirm the prophecy that you received today. Yeah, I can just feel it that I received the, 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 the miracle by, by coming to visit this church. Because I think, uh, as the, the man of God said, he said, uh, we are going to receive everything back which is lost in our family. Yes. What are the things that you have lost? Uh, cu cu currently, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was busy with uh, me and my, my big brother. We were busy marketing, and then we 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 are not yet getting employment. But I get a job for 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 four months. It was a permanent. I mean, a temporary post, which ends yesterday last year, uh, December. And then now I can confirm that I get my my job back. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling uh, so much excited because uh, to come here, like when we came here. Uh, the, 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 the man of God said we must not go the same way as we came here and then I'm much excited that I'm no longer going the same way I, I came here as I received my miracle as today I've received my joy of my life uh, the prophecy the man of God gave um, is true um, he called the brother over here to the fore then he asked uh, where his brother was um, apparently, we were, uh, it was just the three of us, we went there. Then the man of God asked who had cows, lots of cows in the family. Then it was my grandfather. Then he, he mentioned that um, at home uh, things are not going quite well. But uh, he said that uh, the riches of uh, our grandfather, as he had many cows, uh, shall descend on us. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? Um, well, right now I feel that uh, I found my, my 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 breakthrough. I found my you know uh, yeah. I, I just don't know how to. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. There's a leg that is giving you problem. Come again, sir. A leg. Yes. That is giving you problem. Yes. It sometimes pulls up. It's eh? true. Yes, it's true. And then you try to push to work. Eh? Yes, sir. Mm. So no more affection now. I see you are even failing to get affection. Yes. With your husband. There's no affection here. Yeah, true, Papa. True. And it's an attack, this thing. Yes. To attack your marriage. Yeah, Papa. You understand? Yeah. Because you always stay for long without coming together, like a husband and a wife. Yes. And uh, this is a stagnation spirit, where this man, whatever he's trying to do, he failed. That's true, Papa. Uh, Definitely true. And now, from yes. today, you are going to be free. There's a breakthrough. Thank that you, is Jesus. Thank you. You are free. Oh, the prophecy that I confirm is true. My name is Joseph. My uh, Maposa, we're from Atridgeville, Pretoria. The lady that's standing behind me is my wife, Lucy Kolile Maposa. Uh, we, want, we want to confirm the prophecy that, uh, that uh, the, prof the prophet prophesies it. It was true that um, uh, my wife, she's got a pain on the leg. And then even though when I meet with my wife, there was nothing happening between us. It is true because every time when I meet with my wife, I feel pain on my kidney and and herself on, on the womb but we believe and 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 and, and that the the, the the prophecy was true and we believe that in the name of jesus christ we are healed how did it affect you uh, it, it, it affect our relationship very badly because it's it, we were not happy about it but uh, since we came here i'm very very happy because i used to see men of god on youtube and then i decided to tell my wife that let's go there so that we can get our healing we're very happy in the name of jesus we say thank you jesus how are you feeling right now Right now, I'm very, very much happy because even the man of God said, I'm trying, I'm, I'm in stagnation uh, because I'm running a driving school, but people are not coming. So I was worried about that. But uh, 
the man of God said it's a devil, it's, it's an attack. But as from now, I'm very much happy. I know everything now is well in the name of Jesus. We give glory to Jesus for your life and your wife's lives. We believe that the Almighty God has delivered you and you are coming back with a testimony. I will do that definitely. Amen. In the name thank you. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Where is your husband? You don't know. I'm not married. I want to pray for you. Please, please. Eh? Yes, man of God. Please. I want to pray for marriage. Yes. Yes, eh? yes man of God. Eh? Yes. Yeah, because everybody comes to you and go. Yes. Eh? Oh, you are free, you are blessed. It will happen. My name is uh, Rose Nchauke. I'm from uh, Zanin in Kambako, Maluvani. And uh, the man of God gave me the prophet that uh, he is seeing uh, disappointment. After disappointment, come, just the men just come and pass by, come and pass by. And then he asked me if I'm willing that he will pray for me so that I can get a marriage. And then I said yes. Let's let's talk about this. How did it affect you? You having people at the end of the day, they just go like nothing happened. How was it affecting you? It really affected me, spiritual and even physical. You know, uh, staying with a man, I'm a Christian, and I'm a servant of God. I'm actually I'm a minister. And then when uh, staying with a man, and then pass, staying with a man and pass, and I'm preaching the word of God, and people just say ah. He's preaching, she's preaching the word of God, but she's not married and she's staying with this man. Next day is another man, next day there's another man. It is really affected my life. And uh, I think it was, uh, it is a family case because all of my sisters from my uncles, um, from my uncles, my aunties, everyone, they are not married. They just met, met and remarried, met and remarried, disappointment after disappointment. And as a servant of God today, as you told us that many people would speak that, okay, he's praying for people, he's declaring to people, but nothing is happening to her. How are you feeling today as the man of God has spoken unto your life? Oh, I'm feeling great and I thank Jesus. Uh, I know that I'm, I'm delivered and I'm delivered and I'm going to get married and I'll preach freely and uh, it is going to work and people will believe me and what God is going to work through me because I'm going to do it freely without any problem. Thank you, Jesus. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that as the man of God has declared marriage unto your life, you shall surely come back to testify to us with your husband in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll come back for the testimony. Amen. Amen. And the ring, the ring, ring. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>